Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shalat and welcome back to Inbox. This is the show where you send me emails, questions, advice, whatever you want. Let's get started. Hello, Mr. Schlatt. I'm a senior in high school and currently looking for my first part-time job. My resume is quite poor because I don't do any after-school activities, but I have some volunteer work on it. I'm an awkward kid who isn't very good with talking to people. My question is, should I use a resume for my first job interview and any advice for the interview? All right, so you're going into a part-time job. So I'm going to assume it's like uh, something like what I was doing in high school, which was just working at a deli every weekend. And yeah, I, I worked there for four years. It wasn't fun by any means, but it was money, so I, I, I kept at it. And um, I realized that a lot of a lot of kids would like come and go. There was like a, a revolving door of uh, other employees who would do my job. I was really the only stable high school employee there. And the reason for that, I guess, and, and my boss would always complain about like, oh, it's just kids these days, they hate work. They're a bunch of they're a bunch of liberals, but uh, <laughs> but the real reason is because they're forced to do it, right? Kids are forced by their parents to get out of the house, and make some money, which is fine. But what happens is the kids don't want to do the work, right? They don't want to show up, they don't want to get the job done, and so they leave after a while. And if you're looking for a place that hires high school kids, the bare minimum you can provide for them is to show up and do the job, because a lot of kids don't. And so do I think you need a resume for the, the, the interview or the hiring process? No, I don't. I, I think that you, um, I think that the best way to go about it would be to just ask around people you know, see who you know or who your family knows who works for someone or owns a shop that, that is looking for extra hands. That's how I got my, my job. Everyone's always looking for work. And if you can find someone who can get you a job, you might not even need an interview. If it does come down to that, if it does come down to, you know, you walking around town, seeing who's got a help wanted sign on the window, then just make sure that in the interview, you get, you get the point across that you're going to show up and you get, and you want to work. I think those are the two main ideas here. I'd also definitely bring up the, uh, the community service. Maybe you could give the, uh, the number of the person who ran that to, uh, to the place that's interviewing you so they could call them as a reference. That'd be good. I don't think you need to bring like a fucking curriculum vitae to, uh, to a high school part-time job, though. Best of luck, man. You'll do fine. Hi, I'm in high school, and for the past couple of years, I've had trouble doing well in school. It's not that I can't do well in school. I always get good grades in classes that I enjoy, but I just have trouble caring and motivating myself to do well. Half the time, I just don't do my homework, and I'm generally a C student. And as college becomes more of a reality instead of something far ahead in the future, I'm starting to worry about being accepted into one. Any advice? Yeah, Cs aren't good, man. <laughs> Colleges don't like to see a uh, 2.0 GPA. And uh, if you don't have any external factors that are pushing you to do better, like parents or, or uh, friends or anything like that, maybe that looming fear of not being accepted is enough to get you to kick it into gear. But either way, I mean, I think we both know that you need to start doing better. Grades get more important as you kind of progress through high school. So junior and senior year are like the years where you really have to like do well. What I'd suggest, the first thing you should start doing is uh, just get extra help. Start talking to teachers after class or after school or whatever, whenever you can make time and make it look like you're putting in the effort. Now, you said you, you weren't actually that bad at, uh, at school. You're just a slacker. So <laughs> here's something you might like. If you want to get a little crafty, find a couple teachers that are, uh, that are teaching a class that you're not doing too hot in and start seeing them a couple times a week or just once a week even. Ask them questions, uh, get help from them on the, on the homeworks, on the assignments, all that stuff. Make it apparent that you're, uh, that you're putting in the effort and make sure they know that you're putting in the effort too. You might not even need their help to do better. Like you said, you're just lazy. But if they see that effort going in themselves firsthand, they're going to be impressed with that. And when it comes time to write in those applications and send them out to colleges, those couple professors are going to be the ones who are going to be able to write a kick-ass recommendation for you. Huh? How's that? They really will write a, a good recommendation for you. And that's an important part of the admissions process. Colleges really look at those. That teacher will also probably be able to help you with your personal statement, which is another thing that colleges look at. That's basically an essay that you write and send out to all your colleges. I got two more pieces of advice. Um, the first thing is to already just start studying for the SAT, ACT, whatever you're doing. Make sure you're doing well on that. Uh, because for some reason, colleges still weigh those heavily. Um, there's a bunch of free uh, shit you could use to study on Khan Academy. They have a free course. Um, buy the book if you want. Go to a class or two. And just make sure you're doing well on that. And try not taking electronics to class, maybe. Try not taking your phone. Try not taking a laptop. When I was in high school, um, laptops were allowed, and I would spend all class, you know, on city skylines or on Reddit or something and just tab back into the Google Doc I was taking notes on. 
And uh, when I got rid of the laptop, it was so much better because I was, you know, when you write notes on a piece of paper, you're actually processing what you're writing and it helps with retention and it's just so much better. So try making a change, man. You and I both know you're not where you should be. Um, you could be better. Get your life in order, man. Clean your room. <laughs> Speaking of 12 rules for life, we got another one. Hello, I'm looking for some advice on talking to girls. Ooh, I know it may seem weird, but for an introverted high school kid, I don't excel greatly at that type of activity. I came across your channel by watching your tribute to Minecraft video, made me shed a few manly tears, and saw that you made some videos where you gave advice to people. Maybe you'll come across this or maybe you won't. However, anything will help. You seem like someone I can relate to in some way or another, and you seem like a very knowledgeable person. I absolutely am. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, can you give me some advice on simply talking to other people? Because as of right now, it's very difficult to even look someone in the eyes when they are talking to me. Thank you so much, and I love your channel. Please keep up the great work. I'm kind of like you, man, in that I'm a very introverted person uh, in general. I, I don't really go out of my way to meet new people. But when I do, um, <laughs> I'm very good at, at faking extroversion, especially in formal contexts. I can, I can really put on that people person facade to, to nail the interview if I want to. So, And I think a good place to start with making an improvement in that, and this is going to sound cliche, but uh, stand up straight, man. Fix your posture. Whether or not you subscribe to this guy's other ideas, um, this is the first rule for life of uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson. When you start standing up straight with your shoulders out, sitting upright, not slouching anymore, uh, the perception other people have of you and the perception you have of yourself will almost immediately start to change. If you're not confident enough to look people in the eyes when they're talking to you, chances are your shoulders are slouched, you're just giving off the vibe that you really just don't want to be there. And if that's your jumping off point, you're never going to find success with this kind of stuff down the road. I think for me, it was very important in uh, gaining some confidence for myself and, and for my self-image. And in turn, that helped me be more confident entering into discussions with other people. Of course, this is very basic advice, but it's, um, but it's, it's so important, right? Before you even enter a conversation and start talking to someone, there are so many elements of you and, and the general aura you give off that practically do the speaking for you. And there's a lot more advice you can find online from people who know way more about this stuff than I do. But uh, in short, stand up straight, sit up straight, and maybe put on a college shirt from time to time. All right, boys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, you can email me at jschlatt at pm.me. I am getting a lot of these emails, so it's, it's kind of tough responding to all of them, but I'm trying my best here, whether uh, it's in an episode of Inbox or just a response uh, via email. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next week.